my name is Steve Dutton and I live in downtown Miami. I'm originally from Des Moines, Iowa of all places. Coming to Miami was a choice. It's exciting. It's on the water. It's got a great vibe to it. I've met some amazing people here in Miami, people who really care about this city and share that belief with me that it can become a world-class city. And they're from all over the world. Tom and I met uh, 12, 13 years ago. And a year later, we married. Tom was my greatest love. He was cultured, sophisticated. And we discovered Miami on a cruise from, I think, Costa Rica around through the uh, canal, Panama Canal, up to Miami. And so we get off the ship Miami was going through an amazing change and had been for maybe the previous 10 years, changing from a business city to a combined residential and business community. So we thought, this is nice. And so we took a bus into downtown Miami and we found the building that I live in now that where, where you're speaking to me right now. We really were happy that we made this choice. Most situations in life always come with a counterbalance. And in the, in the case of living in an urban environment, in big cities, Miami struggles just like a lot of other big cities do with challenges. The number one concern of most businesses and people who live in downtown neighborhoods is the number of people that are unsheltered. These are people who are homeless on the street. And that issue, I'm sad to say, is an issue that every city confronts and no city is really, really good at solving. It was a fateful morning. We were having coffee and we watched this man who clearly was distressed and was, from his appearance, someone living on the streets, screaming obscenities into the air. People were beginning to walk by on their way to work. He was saying, give me some money, D, you know, whatever, swear word. And, and then when they wouldn't do it, he was calling them even worse names and all. And so I looked at Tom and I said, you know, we've got to do something. I mean, this isn't, this isn't civil. This isn't, this isn't the way it should be. We agreed. He said, we'll take his photo, but we're going home. That's the moment when everything changed for me because he saw me and he yelled across the street at me, take my photo, motherfucker. And he came across the street. He was a big guy. He saw my husband and he ran over. Tom was yelling at him, leave us alone. And he ran over and he shoved Tom with all of his might. Tom couldn't catch his fall. He just fell back and his head hit the cement. And, and Tom died three days, a day, actually just two days later. I uh, then had to go through the trauma that so many of us have to go through when, when tragedy strikes. It's unexpected, there's no, there's no plan. <laughs> you certainly don't ask for it. But uh, I got through it. I felt that perhaps if I could be an influence, if I could be a catalyst to change, to, re to reduce the number of people that are living on the streets, that would be a good way to honor my husband's memory, Tom, but it also would be a good way for me to rebuild my own life. And I started meeting the amazing people that live in Miami and suddenly lights came on for me. Ideas started rushing into my mind as far as what wasn't being done that could be done that would, that would make a difference. The two block street right outside my building is so dark at night and yet there's so many restaurants there and they're little gems. They're all little small mom and pop non-chain type restaurants and I thought maybe I could do something to help them by transforming that street in some way getting new lighting, getting the sidewalks maybe wider because there's too many cars parked there that really destroy the atmosphere, that destroy the, the beauty of what that street could be. And having traveled all over the world and seen 
similar streets in other cities that had been transformed, that birthed the whole idea of Avenue 3. We need to create a destination name. So rather than calling it Northeast 3rd Avenue, it's Avenue 3. Avenue 3 Miami is our official incorporated name. We're applying for a 501c3 status with the IRS. Avenue 3 Miami has three primary objectives. The first is to transform Northeast 3rd Avenue into Avenue 3, a destination that is fun, exciting, beautiful, and incorporates all the advantages of, living down, of, of visiting or living in downtown Miami. The second objective is to create a more modern approach to outreach among persons who are living on the streets, homeless. We're using an old technology right now. It's, it's a hotline call center, which is great, provided they have a phone that works. They might have a phone, but does it work? Do they, do they really have the 50, 60, $100 a month to pay for services? We've got some expensive programs in Miami of sending people out onto the street with medication or with different supplies and education that would help. And that's, I don't want to stop that, but it's expensive to do that. And in all honesty, I don't think we're doing it enough. So what do we do? Well, what about technology? Wearing something probably makes it easier for everybody to not lose it. Maybe a ring. A ring could be a simple way to check in. Think about the fact that the city just opened the first of its kind in downtown Miami, a public bathroom near the government center station. But what if there was a sensor there that every time they went to that bathroom, as opposed to just peeing on the street or behind the bush, if they went to that bathroom and checked in? And what if in exchange for that, they got points. Those points could be recognized someday, soon, I think, by a corporation, by a nonprofit, perhaps, that provides basic services. And so getting away from the idea of soup kitchens or giving away things to persons and, in, and instead focusing on an exchange of reward, we've shown it works. All of us, every one of us, I think, is involved in an exchange of reward in some way, whether it's through a loyalty card to a business, getting an upgrade on the airlines, getting a free drink every once in a while from Starbucks, whatever it is, we've all shown that we'll change our behavior. The third objective of Avenue 3 Miami is to recognize that among persons who are living on the streets, are dangerous people. People that either because of mental illness or their severe addiction or criminal record shouldn't be on the streets at all. In the case of the man that attacked me and Tom, 29 arrests prior. Explore a new partnership with law enforcement, with Miami's city and county police, and with our local courts. Crime Prevention and Awareness Volunteer Group I want to create a greater sense of community representation. We can tackle this. We can reduce those numbers significantly. The great majority felt safer at Avenue 3 having the parklet and the street painted. Also, they noticed fewer cars and an increased number of people walking by. These people say if the street would be more pedestrianized, they would enjoy taking pictures, eating, drinking coffee, enjoying with friends, and reading a book, riding their bikes in our downtown neighborhood. But I think people got it. They began to see that, you know, even though Miami is a pretty big city and people from all over the world, but we're having a lot of fun getting to know each other. So I think that that uh, feeling that maybe despair is too heavy a word, but that feeling of loneliness, that feeling of I don't really know anybody, disappeared that night to become a stronger community and one that's safer and healthier at the same time. That's the real goal of Avenue 3 Miami. I know that Tom is with me every day in spirit and uh, I'm sure he's proud. <laughs>